in 1980. Ian and Shane put these VHS tapes into a time capsule. You're welcome. If you're watching this, then you know who we are. But we weren't always men of fame. Some might say we had humble beginnings. I'm feeling extra humble today because I lost my portable cassette player and headphones. Ladies, if you find it, bring it to me. Don't give it to him. He doesn't know what to do with it. I do? I'm an experienced lover. Now in our time, these were only used for playing cassettes. Mm -hmm. But in the future, they'll be used for everything! You'll read books on it. There will be cassettes that turn it into a phone. You will still be able to listen to music, but tapes will be amazingly long. I missed my portable cassette player. Well, Ian, how did you lose it? Well, we were enjoying special recipe Slurpees, which put us in a slightly altered state. Which put us in the woods. And the cassette player was gone. We retraced our steps, but nothing. Because we retraced our steps sober. Now, I have taken the liberty of re-preparing the specialty slushies that we imbibed last night. So, with any luck, we'll find your thing. See you on the other side. Cheers. And it ended as all drunken adventures end with pizza. I think you're a cool guy because you understand me. I understand you because you're a cool guy. Aw, you sweetest boy. And that's the story of how I didn't find my cassette player. And also how I lost Shinky in space. Not so fast, you heathen. I made it back alive with your cassette player. <laughs> the aliens gave it to me as a trophy. Larry Bird! No, 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 no! If we put that cassette player in this time capsule, the horrible future of which we spoke of will come to pass, and the human race will be doomed. That's heavy. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. But better this piece of junk than the horrible, addictive cassette player. You're welcome, future. <laughs> <laughs>